Okay guys, so um, this video is just going to be a we are moving video. Um, in this video I'm just going to be talking about why we are moving, what happened, um, and what led to all of this. Um, Mason is currently sleeping on Caleb's half of the bed because the mattress in the closest room that he's been staying in is no longer good. So that's why I'm in the bathroom and it's fucking cold in here. Um, so yeah, we are moving. Um, and by we, I mean Caleb, all of our animals, me and Mason. Um, there will be a lot of moving vlogs. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I know I've been, like, the last few videos that I've recorded that I haven't uploaded yet, but I'm going to, are very just, like, random and I do talk about some of this but I just wanted to make a video specifically talking about this and in the next video you guys will be talking uh, I will be talking about my pregnancy and that we are expecting baby number three so be ready for that I guess so yeah we are moving um if you guys don't know we have moved twice already once when uh we were moving out of my parents house um, and then the second time, um, no, we have moved three times, actually. My parents' house, moving into C and Colin's old house, um, which is near the, which was near the cop shop that is now being sold for over 100k now, um, which was honestly, like, a really good house. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping too far. So let's talk about us moving out of my parents' house first. So, my parents have been together for over 20 plus years, um, or at least they have been together for over 20 plus years, I don't know specifically how long they were married, but anyways, um, living there, which is very hectic, very, um, drama, like, central, um, Caleb and I lived in the basement, and, um, every single time we would hear them fight, we would hear them argue, we would hear them bicker, um, so we just decided that it would be a good idea to move to the house that we were living in prior. Um, so that's when we moved to CG and Colin's old place. At first, Larry was a very good guy, very understanding. Then he just turned out to be a major fucking dick and we were just like, yeah, fuck you. Um, so after a while, we moved here to 44 Hillcrest Court. Now... If you guys have not seen my Instagram post, which you guys should go um, follow, I will. Uh, I have three Instagrams actually. I stopped posting on all of my pet Instagrams. Um, I'm just gonna like log into those and just delete their accounts, um, or I might just leave them up. I don't know. But anyways, um, if you guys want to go follow my three Instagrams, they will be in the description box below. Also, they will be right here. Um, Savannah Buckler. Um, the Buckler fam, and I also have an OnlyFans account, which is Sexy Mama 20, 2334. So if you guys want to go follow those, go for it. Um, but anyways, on my Buckler Savannah account on Instagram, I basically just posted about like all the drama and stuff that has been happening since we moved in here. Um, so when we um, were first like really in desperate need of finding a place. Um, Christian was like very understanding and was like, yeah, go ahead and move in. That's fine. Like, I don't care. Um, little did we know that was going to be the biggest mistake of our fucking life. So this house was completely unfinished. Um, as you guys can tell, like the shower is not even like finished. The bathrooms are not even fucking finished. This place doesn't have fucking heat. We were fucking suffering all summer long, uh, or all winter long. And now, um... Yeah, it just was not fucking finished and not legal for Christian at all to let us move in here. Um, so, that was that. And then the first thing happened was the cop calling. Fucking constantly. This trailer court is a bunch, like, it's full of a bunch of fucking cop callers. And, um, we got four different fucking notices within a two-day period. Like, that really pissed me off. It, like... The dog was loose and everything like that. And still, to this day, we were still getting called about the fucking dog. Yet yeah, he is on an electric, like, um, fence thing. So, like, 
he's gonna be loose because he has a shot collar. He cannot cross a certain boundary line. If he does, he gets zapped. So like, I don't fucking understand like why the fuck they were calling the cops on us so much. Um, but yeah, um, bunch of cop callers. Like cop calling like fucking central here, all right? Like, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, to then get an eviction notice, um, we've been living here for over about six months now, four to six months, and this, and we still don't have fucking running water, people. And let me tell you why. At first, it was all like, um, because your house was a mess and, um, stuff like that. And then it was because, um, the abandoned trailer part, uh, the abandoned trailer houses up here needed to be, um, scrapped off. And then we get the eviction notice. And I think, now that I really do think about it, that this is why that they are not turning on our fucking water. Christian has not paid his fucking lot rent. So I don't think it's us getting evicted. I think it's Christian getting evicted. And he failed to mention that the rule here is that you have to own the fucking house before you can actually live here. So yeah, apparently that's a fucking thing. Like, owner only living. So we just said fuck renting and now we are looking for a place to buy. Um, we have looked and looked and looked and looked all over this godforsaken fucking town. Um, we have found a few places that are within our price range that we can get a first time buyer's loan with. Um, so yeah. Um, tomorrow is going to be really fucking hectic. So tomorrow's video um, is not only going to be my pregnancy announcement. But that is also going to involve like this huge ass fucking vlog on what the fuck is happening. So again, I'm jumping too far in. So let me finish this moving thing before I jump into what's going, what you guys are going to be expecting in the next video. So yeah, we are moving. Um, we have found this place. It's my dad's ex-wife's house actually. Um, for 90k. We're going to try and get a 100k um, loan. That way that other 10k can be used for any um, replacements that we need to do in the house prior. Caleb's going to also call the people that are in charge of that place to see if we can look at it. Um, we have a few other options, but we wanna go under 100K if at all possible. And like I said, we are not renting to owning anymore. We just said, fuck that. We are going to be actually owning the house now where we don't have to worry about what we can and cannot do, how many um, like pet fees and that kind of stuff. So yeah, we are moving. <laughs> so that's the end of that. Um, now what you guys are going to be expecting in the next video. Um, the next video is going to be my pregnancy announcement. Um, yes, I am expecting baby number three. I have three positive pregnancy tests. Um, the cheap 88 cent one and then two of the 597 ones. Um, they all said positive, um, which I'll insert a clip at, or, um, I'll insert a fucking picture at the end of this video or maybe even in tomorrow's video. Um, so, or the next video, I don't, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I'm expecting baby number three. Um, so yeah, that video is going to be my pregnancy announcement and it's also going to be a hectic vlog. Caleb's got court at 9am due to his car accident and then, um, um, I had to make a doctor's appointment to actually confirm this pregnancy and to just basically make sure that everything is okay and um, to see like what's going to be different with this pregnancy than my other pregnancies and then I have a counseling meeting at 3.30. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to vlog any of that, I'll just tell y'all how it's going to be afterwards. Um, and then tomorrow uh, when Caleb gets off of work. Uh, he's got to call the loan company. We he's got to go call the person so that we can actually go look at these houses and stuff like that. So not only is it gonna be my pregnancy announcement video, but it's also going to be just a hectic vlog. So yeah, that's what you guys need to expect. Um, and then I'm going to be vlogging like the whole entire move, the packing, the blah blah blah. Um, there will be an empty house tour, and then. Once we get the house decorated and ready to go, we will be doing an updated house tour as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know and to just get all of this off of my fucking chest because a lot has been happening that I just haven't been sharing with you guys. And so, yeah.
But I love you guys, and I will catch you guys probably. I might make the pregnancy announcement video tomorrow um, when I go to the doctor just to confirm. So, yeah. But I'll catch you guys in the next video.